Two games down in the beautiful summer city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Week five in the big three. And on to game three here from Milwaukee inside Pfizer Forum. Gearing up for Bivouac and the Killer Threes at the home of the reigning NBA champions. Let's take a look at the slate so far. Ghost Ballers with the victory in game one. Doosan Bullet and Power holding off Tri-State 50-47 in an exciting finish to game two here in Milwaukee. And welcome back inside Pfizer Forum. Ed Cohen with the Hall of Famer, coach of the triplets. He'll be in game five. That's Lisa Leslie. And right now, the Killer Threes, team that last year was in the finals. They've won two straight and gearing up for a bivouac team. Lisa trying to scratch out win number one. Well, you know, Killer Threes is a team that they didn't start out the way they wanted, but I'm sure they're a very strong team. We faced them, as you said, in the last championship. And you know, Charles Oakley is going to get them going, but do you know who's been helping them is the Dante Green. Now we talked about a little bit Frank Nitty, CJ Watson was a phenomenal last season, but it's been all Dante Green who's helped turn this around. Dante Green, 33 years old, veteran of four NBA seasons, 19 points per game. That's among the big three leaders. And what a season so far for the Killer Threes. And he's that kind of guy that's this evening. He can do it all, knock down the three ball. He can drive and penetrate, especially when you have a smaller guard on him. He's tough to guard, but he can also get in and defend the bigs. This year you can appreciate this core that's back for Charles Oakley's team. Beginning with Frank Nitty, Franklin Session, the captain, along with Josh Powell and Dante Green. Yes, and Josh Powell is a consistent guy who's going to do all the dirty work for you, out hustle so many guys, and they've added Mo Charlo as well. So it's going to be interesting to see if Killer Threes can keep it going. Oak is in the house once again. Charles Oakley leading the Killer Threes. You got the best of them in the championship in 2019. Triplets over the Killer Threes in L.A. Right now they are 2-2 two and two so far this season. On the other side, Bivouac, it's been a tough year so far for Reggie Theus's club. Injuries, and right now seeking their first win. But at their best, a guy who's really delivered for Bivouac is Alonzo G. Lisa. Yes, Alonzo G really stepping it up. And, you know, they've lost so many guys, as you said. But him with the 17 points against the three-headed monster, this guy, eight boards. He stepped up huge, and they really fought hard, barely Barely lost that game, and that's a lot when you consider you lost Josh Smith. Uh, you had um, also Will Bynum, you know, who's out. Uh, and then he has help with Quincy Miller, who kind of had a little tweak. So these guys really um, injured, coming through, still fighting hard. And I think Coach Reggie Theus has to be really be proud of them. Here's the group. Bobby Brown was in the NBA a couple of years ago with the Rockets, along with Alonzo Dre, Corey Jefferson, and Mikel Gladness. No Will Bynum, no Jermaine Taylor for the next two weeks in Milwaukee and Chicago. And there is the two-time NBA All-Star, Reggie Theus, in year two with Bivouac as an expansion club. They were four and four two years ago. Yeah. So we roll on in Milwaukee. Here are the key rules. First to 50 wins. We'll get to the break when one team reaches 25 points. No game clock. In terms of free throws, one shot from either the foul line three-point line or the four-point circle and yes three four-point circles 30 feet away from the hoop uh, bivouac lisa they really need this trying to get in the win column here in 2021 and we'll see if with some reinforcements they can do that today here in milwaukee well these guys you can't expect a lot because they don't have a lot of team chemistry because they've had to change players but bobby brown a guy who played for the rockets Nice shooter, can knock down the jumper. He's got to really step up big and not be shy and knocking down shots and put a lot of pressure. But you know, you got Frank Nitty over there, the quickest guy you want to face out here. And Nitty can do it all getting into the basket. So I'm looking forward to that matchup. By the way, how about Franklin Session and the dunk he had two weeks ago in Las Vegas? Yeah. Jason Maxiel, he's probably on a poster of the aliens. That was, I think, bar none, the dunk of the year. Oh, man, that dunk was serious. That's the one where you lean back and go, ooh, <laughs> it was just nasty. Not safe. The gliding left-handed tomahawk. All right, underway. Bivouac in gold and G with the first bucket on the jumper. So Alonzo G out there along with Bobby Brown and Corey Jefferson, Frank Nitty, 
with Powell and Green for the killer threes. Alonzo G knocked that down, and he didn't even uh, bat an eye. Nobody even ran out at him. That's not a good sign for the killer threes. You mentioned Bobby Brown. Four NBA seasons. Jefferson collects, hesitates, and scores. Nifty move there. The patience by Corey Jefferson. And that's going to be important. Jefferson has nice size on the inside. He's got to just take his time and come in and finish and then crash the boards when shots are taken. Powell made the cut, steal by Jefferson, and could not hold on to it with six to shoot. And Coach Oakley does not like what he's seeing from his guys right now from the start, calling an early timeout. Loose balls all over the place. They're second to getting to it. Bivouac coming out strong, and that's going to be important for them. They have got to match Killer Three's energy. And what I know from the history of Killer Three's is they start out a little slow sometimes, and you cannot wait because when they get going, it's going to be tough to slow them down, especially when C.J. Uh, Watson subs in. And that's really knowing your team, then, if you're Charles Oakley. At least it's 4 nothing, and right away you call that early timeout. And I've been there. Uh, we haven't had that many, especially this season, slow starts at all. But last time we played in 2019, we had come out a few times slow, and I had to use an early timeout. So great timeout by uh, Coach Oakley. Let's see if it helps. Indeed. Killer Three's leading scorers, Dante Green has led the way, Session and Watson with almost nine per game. Bivouac four, Killer Three's nothing. G out of a double, Bobby Brown with a step in the flick. G, good rotations by the Killer Threes, and Bobby Brown still six to three. Okay, Bobby Brown, welcome to the big three. <laughs> you just gonna start out like that? I love it. Great ball movement by Bivouac as well. Green gets doubled, bumps, and scores. Dante Green just playing through it. That's a big man's shot right there. That was nice because he had contact and got hit twice and still able to finish inside. Bivouac working the ball around. Three buckets, three assists. Give and go. Back for Jefferson. The spin. Fadeaway is there. Oh, Corey oh, Jefferson yeah. and Bivouac. What a start here in Milwaukee. Well, nice, strong uh, play. And you know what happens? You get tired of losing. And I can only imagine. They're up here and they're saying, hey, we just want an opportunity to get some wins and kill a three. They're going to really have to step up because Bivouac is desperate. And when you face desperate teams, just like our team did last week against the enemies, you know, teams that are looking for those wins are the most dangerous teams because you can't take them for granted. 9-4 Bivouac. Alonzo G, given room, can't hit over Green. Dante Green out of Syracuse. Oh, with the push off. Brown, four-point shot from the top of the circle. Bobby Brown and Bivouac with a 13-4 start. Wow. What, did I tell you you better watch out for Bobby Brown that he came from the Rockets? This guy is a prolific long-range shooter. And there he is right on cue, knocking down the four ball. Welcome to the big three, Bobby Brown. Bivouac. From downtown. Woo. The remaining schedule for the big three, two days from now, they're on to Chicago. Two games in three days for these athletes. Then regular season wraps up in Las Vegas before the playoffs and championship in the Bahamas. And a look at Atlantis. Lisa, that's gonna be paradise, especially for the winner here in 2021. Listen, we are halfway there, 4-0, and we have some more work to do. But I can't wait to have a room up in one of those towers. Let's go to John Sally with Charles <laughs> Oakley. Oak, you're two and two. It looked like your team started off slow. Yeah, real slow. Um, since urgent. I mean, when it one, two, I mean, team we should beat. Uh, we just got to come and execute. Uh, no energy. I don't know why. But, you know, if we go to the Bahamas, they always talking about I, I need to see it. I don't see that. Okay, well, I'm not going to hold you. Go, <laughs> <laughs> go kick him, coach. <laughs> I guess John has learned over the years. Well, you know, Charles Oakley is a defensive specialist, played 19 years 
the whole NBA rules have been changed on physicality because of Oakley and the bad boys. So I can tell when you see that your team's not coming out with that energy, of course, you can't go out there and do it for them, but you want to see them pick it up and have that fight that he brought to the game. And there they are, right on cue with a turnover that's just really ticking Coach Charles Oakley off. <laughs> I think there may have been a deflection, so it's going to stay with the killer threes, but they're not entirely in sync right now. Nitty hangs and gets the bounce to beat the clock. Franklin Session and the killer threes down 13-6. And you know, Killer Three is again the team who we played in the championship 2019. Those three guys, plus CJ Watson on the bench, were there. So they know exactly what it takes to get to the Bahamas. The, the question is are they willing to put in that time, continue to play together to get back there? Powell from Nitty. Good adjustment. Nitty kept it alive. Franklin Session, sizing up Brown. Green on the weak side. Dante Green, nice look. Powell against Jefferson. Touch, not there. 10 point lead for Bivouac. Brown going to his left, missed it, but no one's there to rebound. Jefferson, no. He'll get a two point shot, and Bivouac playing like a desperate team looking for its first win. The thing about playing in the big three is these second chance opportunities. Jefferson runs that down alone and then does a nice job, not settling for the jumper, but bringing it back to the basket and attacking the rim. Bivouac definitely playing desperate. Now here's the key. It's a long game. Yes. And what happens is, is as guys tire out, if you're not in shape to maintain, then you'll see the lead close. Lisa Corey Jefferson making that two-point shot. Recent addition to Bivouac. Played two NBA seasons, and most recently in Puerto Rico. Dante Green Dante hits Green. the three over him for the killer threes. And that was nice execution. Again, C.J. McCullum comes in, does a nice pick and roll off the top, throws it back to Green for the three. First three for the killer threes. G spinning, fade away. Batted around and taken by Watson. Dante Green hangs and finishes. And a chance at three for Dante Green. You said it's a long game. Killer threes chipping away. Absolutely. And Dante Green, again, one of your poised veterans who knows that there was a mismatch with Bobby Brown guarding him. You have Oakley on the side saying, take it to him. And he does just that, getting to the basket and now to the free throw line. Green's good on the free throw. By the way, rematch of the 2019 championship in Chicago in two days, Lisa. Your triplets against Charles Oakley's killer threes. Well, listen here, Ed. I'm right now just on the broadcast and not thinking about my competition. But I'll tell you, we have our hands full today <laughs> facing the three-headed monsters. I have not done any scouting report yet for the killer threes. I like to take it one game at a time because you can never overlook the competition. Uh, look back in history at Staples Center two years ago. We can reflect at least. There you are with Jamario Moon to your right. Champions in season three of the big three. And now you're the hunted. Everyone's trying to take that title from you and win the championship in 2021. Yes, they are. And shout out to Teddy Gibson, our sixth man who uh, is not here right now. But, you know, Janeiro Pargo, Al Jefferson, and of course, Iso Joe, and you mentioned Moon, um, and, uh, and Double A, Alan Anderson. We have such a, a great team, great chemistry. We do the best that we can to prepare and come out and fight. And, and that's what we're going to do. So. Um, we may be haunted, but at this time, uh, we feel like we're still the underdogs because we got to prove ourselves and we want to win a championship again. By the way, you're coach, broadcaster, realtor, Hall of Famer. <laughs> you wear a lot of hats. Reggie Theus of Bivouac might wear as many. He was just named head coach and athletic director at Bethune Cookman in Daytona Beach, Florida, on top of still coaching Bivouac this summer. He is going to be a really busy man come basketball season down in Florida. 
Well, we're all busy, and you know, I, I appreciate you giving me a shout out as a realtor. If you guys need any property in Florida, let me know. Lockwood Real Estate Group here. But, um, you know, for, for me, it's just about doing what I'm passionate about. You know, I don't work a nine to five, and God bless all the people in the world who do. I get a chance to inspire and do public speaking. Ooh, as Green knocks down the four ball. Um, you know, get a chance to do real estate. I, I love everything that I get a chance to do and broadcasting and talking basketball. I don't even feel like this is a job. This is an amazing opportunity to be able to do this. Oh, great to be with you, Ed Cohen, Lisa Leslie, John Sally from Milwaukee as Alonzo G sticks the three. That ends a 10 0 run for the Killer Threes. Got a good close to this first half with Bivouac leading by five. Yeah, Killer Threes, I told you, it was going to, they were going to make a move because it's a long game. But Bivouac doing a nice job holding on to the lead. But it's the four pointers right here. Green understanding. You don't want to let the lead get too far away. Doing a nice job knocking down that four ball. He got everything. All we need is a little bring the fire, and it's going to be on. Oh. Dante Green! What? Just when we thought we'd seen it all. My goodness, the monster jam. It almost fell out my seat. What? Go ahead, Green. I saw that coming. Let's go. Oh, G oh. gets it back. Green plucks it loose. Charlo could have gone up. Gladness took it away. Helter Skelter. And G comes away with it. Alonzo G. Charlo clears it. 21-18, what a finish to this opening half of game three. And Charlo off the mark, tipped off the rim. Who wants it? Gino, Watson, fade away. That's no good either. Anybody, they're in a rush. And this is what happens when you have Bivouac, who's not as poised, because this is the first time all of these guys have been able to play together due to injuries and players missing. So here you have guys that aren't used to setting it up and, and accustomed to really being organized and running a set play. Dante Green hits another. Boy, has he taken over with 19 of the 21 for the killer threes. Frank Nitty with the other two points. And Dante Green just having a, a, a really a great season, but doing a nice job uh, putting the pressure here on Bivouac. He's poised. He knows what it means and what they need. Uh, he's got his... He's in his bag right now. Another one! You can see it coming now. And if Bivouac couldn't see that, you might want to D up a little bit because Dante Green is on fire. Lisa, it's an 18-3, killer threes run. 24-21 advantage, their first lead of the game. Gino, and a chance to get it to the break for the killer threes. Green for four, off the mark. Well, Green knows they only need one basket to get to the half. CJ Watson obliging, and what a flurry by the Killer Threes. A six point lead at the break in Milwaukee after a really slow start. It was a very slow start, but Killer Threes doing exactly what I thought they would do step up, take your time. They executed their offense, and Dante Green said, What? Boy, you better get up if you want to see me today. 21 to 3, close to the first half. Killer threes up in Milwaukee. Get official Big Three merch at store.big3.com for league and team apparel, including jerseys, hats, and jackets. Get it all at store.big3.com. Killer threes, a 21 to 3 run to close the first half. They lead un or winless bivouac 27 21 and lisa leslie the reason why the play of dante green what he has done in this game unbelievable including a dunk one of the best we've ever seen here in the league listen it's been the dante green show <laughs> 22 points the rest of his team only has five points guys he's knocked down three three pointers but he's been getting it done getting to the basket oakley called the timeout early and ever since dante green's been on fire knocking down three three-pointers, one four-pointer, giving it to you left, right, and the gym! Boy, you better get up early if you want to slow down Dante Green today. And right now, he is with our very own John Sally. Hey, thank you, Lisa. Now, I, I said, did you just dunk the ball? I'm going to feel that later. I'm going to feel it later. I definitely am. And Lisa <laughs> said you were in your bag, man. You just all of a sudden took over. Oakley threatened you or something? 
Nah, man, we, 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 we need wins. My, not even Oakley, my, my wife, my kids, I, I got to get to the Bahamas. So that's, that's the only thing on my mind right now is getting, getting my family to the Bahamas. All right, well, let's get another 25 out of you. Yes, sir. All right, back to you guys. Lisa, what do you think about that? That was awesome. And I'll tell you, Ice Cube knew what he was doing. When you put the Bahamas out there in front of all of us, that was a carrot. You see what I'm saying? We play for money, and we play for a Bahamas trip. So everybody's doing the best that they can. And the Killer Threes, I told you they were going to come alive. They started out slow, and that may come back to bite them at some point, but not today. Eye on the prize, right? Eye on the prize. Killer Threes begin the second half with Green, C.J. Watson, and Mo Charlo. Bivouac, Bobby Brown, Corey Jefferson, Alonzo G, Dante Green still red hot after the break and now with 25 of the 30 for the Killer Threes. Nice throwback and Jefferson just made a mistake. Why would you leave the guy who has all the points to go help on a guard to drive? Bad idea. Rebound for Green, no look clear. Charlo three. Bobby Brown earlier hit a four-point shot. Let's see if Bivouac can slowly but surely get back in this one. G out of a double. Jefferson, close line and the finish. And still a chance at three for six foot nine Corey Jefferson. Okay, big fella. I see you with the nice, first of all, to catch that ball on the move. As you saw the guard, nice bounce pass, but to then get in and muscle it in. Give him the free throw. And this is the beauty of the big three, that it's not over. It's highs and lows. It's a game of runs. And no matter how long or short those runs are, you're never out of it. Score 30-24. To your point, let's go back to the foul first. On the drive, CJ there. Yeah. Bobby Brown, he has to admit he, he, he fouled him. And one of the great finishes during your championship season was here in Milwaukee. It was the triplets against three-headed monsters. Joe Johnson hit that fadeaway four-point shot for the win. You guys were behind in that game. A yeah, case in point, even if it's 12, 15-point difference late, you always have a chance in the big three. Well, what's so funny, and I talked to my team about that just yesterday, and the reason why we were down is because we fouled them so much in that first half and put them on the free throw line. And again, three-headed monsters, tough team. We're looking forward to that battle today. Um, and, and so you just got to find a way to win. And just like them, they're hungry. They're going to try to find a way to win. So uh, you guys make sure you stay tuned. Game five coming up. Triplets versus the three-headed monster. And Gary Payton is going to bring it. The coach talking noise. And, you know, he gets the trash talking award. So it's all good. I love it. Yeah, I was looking this up because the United States women's team Still under, uh, unbeaten, 53 straight games at the Olympics. And that goes back to when they won bronze in Barcelona in 1992. You were on the team in 96 that won golds as Bobby Brown fires and misses. And Gary Payton was on Team USA in 1996 down in Atlanta as well. 1996, yes. GP, the glove. Nobody was better. And I'll tell you, uh, I enjoyed that 96 team and winning gold. And our women are still still undefeated and hoping to come home with another gold. That'll be the seventh for Team USA Women's Basketball. One went away. Dante Green nails another. How about this? He has 28 of the 38 for the Killer Threes. Well, Dante Green, again, he's still on fire. He in the bag. He got the Chanel. He got the Birkin bag. He is doing it all for Killer Three. When you look at him, with the face up. Why do you have a hand down? You know the saying, hand down? Man down. Buckets. Back here in Milwaukee, Killer Three is behind the play of Dante Green leading Bivouac 38-24. Let's take a look. Was it a two or a three? I really couldn't tell on that particular uh, replay. So let's see one more time. Oh, yeah, he looks like he's uh, clearly behind the line. They have given him the three-point shot. 28 points now for Dante Green. 
Crowd starting to really get into it. Week number five of the big three in Milwaukee. A late addition to the schedule. Be in Chicago on Saturday. A little road trip into the Midwest and a look at Dante Green, what he's done this season. Lisa, four games now with at least 21 points. Killer threes, winners of two straight. And right now have really turned things around against bivouac today yeah this is probably one of the best individual performances that we've seen aside from iso joe himself getting buckets week after week dante green looks great leading his team again everyone else 10 points dante green 28 points seven rebounds five three-pointers one four-pointer I don't know what else he can do. That, that, that's, that's an amazing stat line right there. Fantasy big three for those playing it. I mean, this is this is your guy. Well, that's not my guy, but he is a guy. <laughs> and he's a great guy. I'm going with Iso Joe always and every day. But he, he's in his bag today. Dante is uh, filling him up. I'm not sure what's taking them so long. It's an obvious three-point line. You know, Lisa, they may be seeing if the killer threes cleared the lane before the shot. And I've been there where we've had a three-pointer taken away because one of our guys did not clear the lane. So that's a possibility. Let's see what they come up with. Hold on, folks. We're going to get the answers. Two of our officials here for game number three, Charles Rubia and Dave Posner. Count the basket, a three for Dante Green. Long review, but inevitably, they got it right. They figured it out. And you want the right call because that's important. You want to make sure. Lisa, Bivouac led 18-6. It was a 12-point lead. The Killer Threes have outscored them 32-6 since. Remember, Charles Oakley called the timeout at 4-0. Jefferson with the clock coming down. And a violation expired just before it was knocked down here for Bivouac. And this is tough because Bivouac, again, some of these guys, Bobby Brown, this is his second game. Actually, this is his first game here with Bivouac. So these guys don't have the chemistry that a killer threes is going to have. And so they're putting up a, a valiant effort here, but they're going to continue to get better. So for anybody who has Bivouac on their, you know, record and they still have to play them, watch out. These guys are, they're going to get better. They need a few more practices sessions and, and figure out a few more of their plays and stats but they they have an opportunity uh to really try and turn her around and, and get some wins yeah baby steps and we saw who's not here bynum quincy miller had a great game last week jermaine taylor killer threes get the steal watson reverse is good 40 24 now the killer threes extending the lead. Well, they're going to run away with it because they have the poise. They have the understanding of what it takes to get to the championship. Uh, Brown here from three. Oh, shots flat. Jefferson does a nice job and rushes that shot. All the chippies missed in the middle. You need some dip with all these chips <laughs> is being missed in here, guys. Come on. Maybe some cheese curds. We're in Milwaukee. Something. Or we can get some Taco Bell fries with the cheese. <laughs> By the way, I think you're going to have to file a big three patent for downtown Bobby Brown. Oh, there you go. It only works if he makes the shot, though. And, yeah. You know, it don't work. If you, if you miss it and you miss it making bricks, it don't work. But was, downtown Bobby Brown sounds good to me. It was working early. Oh, yeah. Hit a three, hit a four. Here's Green for three. Brown with the rebound. Brown slicing, slips it. Jefferson the roll. Popped out. Second effort for Brown. Gliding layup is good. Bobby Brown in his bivouac debut with nine points now. Green sitting on 28 points. Watson the fake. Lane's open. Offloads and Green with the finish. A 30-point game for Dante Green. Now they just playing with bivouac because uh, CJ... Watson really could have shot it at the basket and decided to fake it and pass it off. A lot of reaching there. Franklin's session with the foul, but Green's been the star. Well, CJ recognizing that. Uh, oh, did he get the ball? Wait, I thought that was a pass. He may have lost the ball and it just landed in the hands of Green. I thought he was really trying to play with him, give him a little one-two. 
and pass it off. I, I'm not really sure about that anymore. Dante Green gets a breather. You know, Lisa, he's sitting on 30. It's 42-28. Alonzo G nearly stolen. Mikel Gladness won't go. There's a game on Saturday in Chicago. And all 12 teams getting ready for two in three days. The session misses the reverse. Brown loops it up. Session tips it and a steal. You got to know better than that. Sessions jumps way too high to just throw that ball up and hope in hopes that it gets to your big man on the inside. Never underestimate the hops of Frank Nitty. They're six points away. Brown bumps, he scores, and the foul on C.J. Watson. Bobby Brown keeping Bivouac alive. Bobby Brown doing it from downtown. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that was a nice drive and finish. Uh, again, Brown, Brown gets nice touch, nice jumpers from the outside. Just needs a little time. And as I say, he has nice touch. He misses the free throw. Yeah, I've been notified by our statistician, Tom Hecker, here in Milwaukee, that downtown Fred Brown is from Milwaukee out of Lincoln High School. Well, there you and go. also, don't forget about downtown Julie Brown. <laughs> Shout out to downtown Julie Brown, who I did celebrity wife swap with. She already has that name, so we're going to leave it at that. There you go. Foul here on Watson. Timeout. Reggie Theus with the killer threes in front, 44-30. In the closing moments of game three in Milwaukee. Three more games to go after this one. What? Three more? You ready? made it through, Ed. I guess it's going to be time for me to check out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop the mic and pass the mic <laughs> over to coach. Avery Johnson is Avery Johnson. five feet from us and will take your chair in moments. He'll take my chair. I'm going to pass it off to him, and I'm going to go. Have a little soup, salad in my dressing room, and get ready to get uh, a victory for the triplets. There's Coach. There's Coach. Coach Avery Johnson in the house. He is coming up next, the final three games on Triller and Fight. Killer Threes right now, it's a 14-point lead. And Frank Nitty, speaking of mic drops, Franklin Session is mic'd up. Well, let's see what he said. On the pick and roll, I got a trail because he's going to keep letting it fly. Hey, Dante, you got it rolling. Dante, keep rolling, keep rolling. One of the breakout stars two years ago in the big three. He never played in the NBA. And he has spoken about what that summer in 2019, on 2019 did for him, his career, and really took the lead by storm. Well, he's an excellent player, and it's been great to watch and see him develop and hear in the big three having so much success. G, runner, won't go. Too now, many chippies miss, man. Where is the dip? Green fakes, drives to the basket. Switch around and through. Dante Green with 32 points. He is two points shy of matching Joe Johnson's big three single game record. Well, I tell you what, I, I can't even be mad because his brother is out here doing it all. Driving with the left, the right, the switch, the dunking on foes, knocking it down from the three. I mean, it's really been everything that the big three is about, and that's that half court success. And it's a show. Dante Green's putting on a show. Point game for the killer threes. Green with 33 right, and nine rebounds. Bobby Brown pull up. Green with the double-double. Can he set the scoring record for three? Almost punched out. Watson for the game. Got it! C.J. Watson, game winner, and the killer threes come to Milwaukee and take care of business 50 to 30. Dante Green with 33 points in the win. Dante Green really came out and went inside the Birkin folks, reached all the way in and brought the money out. 33 points, 10 rebounds, five three-point 
three-pointers made, one four-pointer. He really did it all. That's amazing. What, what else can I say? Impressive. Very impressive. Oh, C.J. Watts is going to turn his back on it. <laughs> wow. And that's how you want to end. You're talking about getting to the Bahamas. You can see right now the killer threes. <laughs> they're serious about getting to the Bahamas. Lisa, they closed this win over Bivouac, a 44-12 to 12 run. And the reason they did, Dante Green, 33 points, 10 rebounds with John Sally. Uh, Dante, 33 points, double-double, 10 rebounds. Bahamas is looking really good from here. <laughs> I need it. I need it. I'm telling you, I need it. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to trying to get there, get that free vacation. Now, you know, Lisa um, has uh, ISO Joe. You almost got his single record, uh, I mean, game uh, title. You took a three-pointer just now and turned around and looked at the crowd and hope it went in. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about the record, to be honest. I was just trying to get the win. I was trying to get the, the, the game-winning shot, though. That would have made it three in a row. But, uh, you know, I, I take the win. Um, you know, we happy with my guys. We came out. We started off a little slow, but, uh, you know, picked it up and, and got the W. All right. Congratulations. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks, John. Killer threes win it. Three more games left on Triller and Fight, including the triplets. And three-headed monsters, hey, Lisa Leslie, pleasure these first three on the broadcast. Awesome. It's been great. And the big three has not disappointed thus far. I'll go to the locker and get my team together. We're going to come back and, DJ, keep this party rolling. <laughs> Stay tuned right here on the big three.